Oh boy, it's, you know, the show. Uh, let's wrap up the Blue Beetle here. Uh, the final story is called The Gladiator. With whatever this guy is. The curio dealer chuckled gleefully as death stalked the night. Why? Whose was the fiendish mind that played a game of life and death with human beings as pawns? The gladiator found out when the grinning death reached out from the buried past to strike again. Okay. King of the chest killers. Is he writing his hand? or Oh, there's his other leg. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Dan Kenneth, art dealer, walks with his secretary, June Stop. There's a chess tournament going on at the Physicians Club. Shall we watch it? Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh, this guy got killed. Yeah. Oh, boy. Anywho. At the club. Hello, Dr. Joust. Dan, you're just in time. The championship game is coming to a close. At the very next moment. Well, Dr. Rath. <laughs> Rath. Well, Dr. Rath, I guess I've won. Guess you've won. Good heavens, Kosova! You've developed the most ingenious gamut in the history of death! It's so intricate, it would take me a week to learn! Uh, which one? Kosova's gambit was the most brilliant I've ever seen! Um, Hello, Dan! Say, why don't you ever join our chess tournaments? I know you're an expert player! No thanks, Dr. Rath. I've no time for the game, so I collect rare sets instead. That's my hobby, too. I'd like to show you a curio shop I discovered that was a wonderful, that is a wonderful collection. Fine, let's go. A little while later, in a narrow alleyway, queer-looking place, isn't it? <laughs> Look, I get it, all right? Anyway, the owner is a bit queer himself. <laughs> I understand he was a, a chess master once. They seem to... They seem to... Step, they seem to... step. Oh, they seem to step into the past as they enter. Good day! We'd like to see one of your chess sets. Come in. Come in. Great Scott, Dr. Justice is a genuine oh, Medici set. Now this is one of the finest examples of carved ivory. Gad, one wouldn't make so many wrong moves with those, eh? What's that? Wrong moves, did you say? Doctors? Murderous criminals? That's what you are? What on earth? Yes, criminals. All who make mistakes are criminals. <laughs> People who use erasers? Doctors are nothing but criminals allowed to wield knives and make errors. Thousands and thousands of maimed bodies denounce you. If I were allowed, I'd have every one of you who makes a wrong move killed. Pleasant chap! <laughs> well, he became physically disabled when a doctor made the wrong move during an operation. Cut it right off. Oh, well. I'll see you home, Miss Star, because I'm the only one around here into girls. Really? Oh yeah. I guess I'd have had. I guess we've had enough collecting for today. So long, Doctor Joust. That night, Dan receives a phone call. Uh oh, Dan, this is Joust. There are strange men looking around my house. I'm worried. You you want in on this? Alarmed for his friend's safety, Dan races through deserted streets. Aha! Uh -huh. What's going on up there? It's lucky Dr. Joust lives so near. One lightning move and Dan becomes the gladiator nemesis of crime. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, in the li uh, library, Dr. Joust lies helpless while the gas jets are turned on. Just a moment, gents. Like an unleashed charge of dynamite, the gladiator explodes into the midst of the surprise thugs. I don't think we'll take gas this time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, before the gladiator can... Oh, yeah. Before the blood... No, is that the second? You see how they did... You can't tell. This little match will cool that guy off. Before the gladiator can prevent it, the lighted match is thrown at the escaping gas. Beat it, guys! I must save Dr. Joust from that raging inferno! Burn, baby, burn. Easy there, fella. You're, you'll be all right. Just a bit singed. I wonder why they tried to kill him and make it look like suicide. Oh, can't say the word. <laughs> YouTube and stuff, yeah. Make it look like sideways. Wait, uh, who are you? <laughs> what? And in a darkened room in another part of town, the gladiator licked us. He did what? I mean, he beat us. Oh. Our mistake was not cutting the telephone wires before climbing in. Very well. Now go. <laughs> they made a mistake. And the gladiator is on my trail. Now let me think. Mistake. Wrong move. Ah. <laughs> I have it. Later that night, oh, I thought it was the, oh, I guess I did the wrong voice. Well, whatever. Later that night, the curio dealer plays chess in his shop with a powerful opponent. You're losing the game. You'd win if two pieces weren't in the way. Would you like me to show them to you? Yes, show me. This, this is one piece. It is the knight. You could win if the knight were out of your way. Do you know who the knight is? It is Dr. Joust. Dr. Joust makes mistakes. He cripples people. He's on. He's in your way. Yes. Yes. He must die. Sometime later, as Dr. Joust sits in his study. Whoa, who's that? <laughs> You're in the way. You shall play with me for your life. The minutes tick by and Dr. Giles is no match for the former chess champion. Go on. It's your move. And if you move wrongly, you shall pay for it with your life. Oh, uh, uh. Uncertain of his next move, Dr. Giles is live in the balance moves his king's knight. Suddenly... You lose. That was the wrong move. <laughs> One less criminal to make wrong moves in this world. Yeah, well, I guess not. The next evening, Dr. Joust's body is found. Dan, June, and Dr. Rath arrive with the police. From the grimace on his face, I suspect an obscure poison. Does that explain your grimace? Huh? After the coroner finishes, Dan... Why, this is a piece from the Medici set. There can't be two such sets. Meanwhile, over the fatal chessboard, a second victim is named. Again the knight. This time, Dr. Rath. <laughs> so it is. So it is. Well, he won't be in my way for long. At the very moment, Dr. Rath is leaving the murder scene. My place is nearby. Suppose we all go there and talk it over. By all means. Well, not you, Dan. Uh, later in Dr. Rath's apartment, this has been a terrible shock. Why, what's this? Wait, don't pick that up, Dr. Rath. It might be a dog turd. That's what it was thrown in for. <laughs> Just as I thought... <laughs> This is the other Medici Knight. Medici Knights are dog turds? What? No. This is how Joust was killed. A poison pin shoots into the finger when the chess piece is handled. It's an infernal device used by the Medici to poison their enemies. 
All right. Uh, they're suspicious aroused. Dr. Rath and Dan quickly drive to the curio shop. You wait out here by the car, uh, June, while we question the shop owner. As they step inside the thugs, they stepped inside the thugs. Okay. Who's these guys? Knock them out. A blurred streak of motion and the gladiator rips into the thugs like a bursting meteor. Oh! Uh, Dr. Rath, you still alive? We'll see. Hold on, you! Well, what's this? Unless I'm greatly mistaken, this is the new Kosova gambit which someone has been playing! As far as I know, there's only one man who can play this complex gambit. And that's Kosova himself. I think I'll just take a run up to his place. At that very moment outside, grab that girl quick. Take her to my place. She came with the gladiator, so she must know who he is. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jesus, taking forever. In the shop as Dr. Rath recovers, call the police. Now, what's happened? To June in the car. Say, that seems to be it down the road. <laughs> the gladiator races like the wind in swift pursuit of the thugs. While inside the shop, hello, police. He didn't notice my weapon collection. Call the police, will you? Why? Someone has moved the chess and the gambits. Been broken. Hmm. Hmm. It was done with the king's move. Why didn't I think of moving the king? But that means, yes, that means his game is not perfect. Kasova tricked me. He's the king. He's in the way. <laughs> Meanwhile, at a grim castle-like mansion, Break Screech and June is dragged bodily out of the car. Once inside, guess where this is going? Tell me who the gladiator is, or... At the very second, an avenging figure cuts through the air. And he, he, he got a shirt on the way. Why not ask me? But, Kosova... One moment, gladiator, get away from my men, or I blast your head wide open. Get him! Don't let him stop you, gladiator! I... I'm not afraid! Just then, out from the hall comes a throaty laugh. <laughs> the king! You shall die! The two madmen fire simultaneously. Bang! Bang! The fanatical curio die of dealer falls dead while Kosova, mad with rage and pain, grab him. All who oppose the chess master die. Dr. Joust died because he refused to continue with my plan to kill Dr. Rath and control the institution's money. It's a good thing he's explaining all this. Now I shall kill you and place the blame on Dr. Rath. Huh? Here, old dealer, here, come, came here, or whatever. Kasova turns the gladiator, leaves, cross the room, and the momentum of an exploding shell, blah, blah, blah. Like an unleashed hauser, the gladiator recoils into the thugs. Just one final touch. I believe you realize that matter will out. One last gesture, and the renowned Avenger leaves. Police? A short while later, Dan enters with the police. I followed Dr. Rath up here. What happened? Apparently, Kasava's mind has snapped under some intense nervous concentration. Probably in, oh, and probably in devising the gambit, the chess gambit, whatever. Being a psychiatrist, Kasova knew how to compel the old curio dealer to do his bidding. Another gladiator story in the next issue of Blue Beetle Comics. Oh, dear God, that was awful. Well, what's next, Blue Beetle? Well, not the Blue Beetle, but I don't know. I'll find something to read. Well, and we'll do it next time, next Sunday, for Mr. Nelson's, you know, Sunday Comics.